there's definitely an advantage to doing your own thing in that you don't any time you want to make a change there is no need to go through this whole meeting after meeting after meeting the only people in any meeting are yourself and yourself and so I'm going to try something new it's a riff or it's an evolution of a small series I did the author's note where I was talking about writing and of course I jump around a lot in terms of the things I do, the things I find interesting. And at a point I just couldn't come up with anything else to say on the author's note. However, I liked the idea of having these little pieces that you send out into the world. And the most interesting thing for me are the things I see as I walk around. I walk around an awful lot. I think I'm quite lucky and I'm able to do that. And so I decided to do a series in which I share some of the things I've seen and hopefully I can describe them in a way or, or with enough uh, colour and whatever, right ingredients, shall we say, so that you can see what I saw, even though there's no camera there. So let my voice be the camera. So we'll start off <laughs> with something at Westerpark is, I live in Amsterdam, if you don't know, and one of my favorite parts is Westerpark, so I go there a lot, I see a lot of things, I think a lot there, I sit and hang out, I write there, um, and there's a particular bench, it's a wooden construction, and, and it was donated by a an organization of, I think, woodworking ladies, look it up. Anyway, it's a place I like sitting, so I sit there and you can, it's easy easy to sit and write there, so it's sort of, you can sit, you have this other bit, this elevated section that is used for barbecues, but I used, used it for writing. So as I'm there, I notice this family coming, so it's a son, daughter, dad, mum, and they approach a tree that is nearby, and the mother is in a wheelchair. And the kids, I, I can't say how old they are, maybe around six, seven, or something like that. And they stop and they're talking, and I'm sort of half, <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to writing at this point, I'm sort of half watching them. And then the dads and the kids, they start climbing the tree. And they, I mean, they really climb up this tree. And the mum is filming all of this. and. I stop everything, I'm just watching this, because I cannot remember, I never climbed trees with my dad, I certainly climbed trees, I, I wouldn't even imagine asking him to join me in a, a tree climbing uh, expedition. Um, and I rarely ever see dads climbing trees with their kids, I see parents doing all kinds of stuff around in parks and in other places in the city, but I never see them climbing trees. And so to watch this dad take his kids up and up and up and up really high into the tree and they're giggling and they are laughing and they're calling to the mum and the mum is calling back to them and she films bits and pieces. And it's just one of those things that I happen to be in the park when they came and they happened to do this thing and I saw it and I often feel really I was going to say blessed, but it's not like that. I just, I feel quite grateful to the fact that I do bump into these things from time to time. So, um, I was going to throw a moral in, <laughs> but there isn't one. Um, I just say, keep looking and see you again next time.